Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Scorched Earth. I'm Flinger Foo, and today, well, today we've got a few things we gotta get going. Um, I have Water Well. We're gonna get that sucker crafted on up and let's see if we can get the sucker placed. Alright, so we've got a water well, and then I'm thinking we're gonna try to get it set up so where it goes over there. And we're hanging out with Super Dodo. We're trying to get there we go. All right, we're trying to get uh, Super Dodo a whole bunch of levels. So let's see. We're going to need a whole bunch of stone. And today we might actually, if we can get this going, and this is going to be the deciding factor as to whether or not we can keep this base. As, you know, because if we can't run the water, then there's really no point in us being up here. Because this is a high-risk area. And that was kind of, you know, my thinking as to um, doing this. Is it's a high risk area. So. But it's a high reward area. So if we can find, you know, a whole bunch of stuff that we can uh, get in here. You know what? Let's just. Trying to figure out in my head which, how many of these I need. I'm gonna need a bunch of those ones. All right, yeah, um, I'm trying to f see this place. What I was saying is this place is it's a high risk area because there's a lot of traffic going through here. But pop that onto there. No, we're gonna have to run it up like that, and then oh, it's just not gonna be right. What about there? No, no. Okay. Well, let's stick that there. And then let's go with an incline. There's the irrigation incline. All right. All right. And now we need nine. But yeah, um, like I was saying, this place, it, it is, it's, it's a high-risk area. But the reward for being able to pull off... A nice base here is so, so worth it. Um, yeah. I mean, it is. It's, it's really worth it. Because everything that you need is right here, right in this little area. And if we can't pull it off, then there's really no point in us being here. So, I'm thinking today, we're gonna try to, uh, go out and get... everything set up that we need to just to make sure that we're in the right spot. Um, and also, I think we need to go get a Dodicarus. Come on, Super Dodo. Let's get you out of the way. So far, Super Dodo, I've only put, um, uh, I think, uh, five, maybe six levels into her weight, or into her movement speed. But that's until, you know, until we have a Wyvern, that's pretty much what we're going to do, what we have to do. Alright, seven. going straight towards there it is oh hey that might actually work and I'm trying to keep it low to the ground what is probably a bad idea all right let me go back and get super dodo But yeah, having uh, running water inside of the uh, base is going to be a huge plus if we can do it. Is that high enough? You going to be able to make it, dude? <laughs> no clue. All right. You know, I'm going to go with one more. All right. So it's probably going to be going through the wall. Yeah, right there. All right, come on, Super Dodo. We got to work our way up there and see if we can find that. 
Um, I might have to bring it over a little bit. Oh, that's actually gonna be right behind the storage box. And also, another thing that I was thinking about doing is making this just a big, huge compound. Um, which is gonna be quite easy to do, actually. Um, see, just right along here, incorporate this building right here into the wall. And then come along like this, have another big building right here, have a big courtyard, central courtyard. And then have another wall come along here, and then at the corner of that, have another building, and then that, and then another wall come over like this, have another building. Yeah. And then, so, this right here could basically just be the big cornerstone of just a huge, giant base. Yeah. I'm kind of digging that idea. Yeah. It's where, you know, this right here, while it's just a small shack, and Vulture, you're gonna get hurt on top of there, buddy. All right. All right, so... Do I have enough wood to craft a tap? I do. Alright, let's see. Hey, we have water! That's good stuff. And, you know, it's... It really is an eyesore, and I'm not going to say it's not. <laughs> but, you know what? It's functional. And for right now, that's really all that matters. Um, I might actually... No, I'm not going to change the layout of this just to match that. But, yeah, um... Now that we've got that set up, I want to blockade that area off, but I also want to set out a wind turbine. And what's the easiest way on Scorched Earth to go get wind turbines? Well, the easiest way on Scorched Earth to get wind turbines is to go find a whole ton of loot drops. And what's the easiest way to um, level up a uh, Argentavis? Take your Argentavis out to go get loot drops. <laughs> so that's the plan at least for the next little bit all right so let's stick that right there let's get all this sand over inside of here all right sand 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 uh i'm just gonna drop that how many narcotics do i have already made up in here and i don't like the uh placement of where i put this uh uh smithy it's not helping at all all right so far we've got Two twenty nine narcotics. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, good morning. All right. <laughs> That's the midday thing, right? The midday chime. Yes, it is. All right. So, uh, are you ready, Super Dodo? Yeah? Go out and find some loot drops. See if we can find a uh, wind turbine. If we can't find a wind turbine, we're going to have to craft it. And those suckers suck. All right? Because we don't have the room for a fabricator yet. We just don't. Uh, but we need to go find a uh, Dodicarus. Are you good with that, buddy? Yeah? All right. Let's do it. All right. So, yeah. We're going to go out. There's a blue drop coming down right here. So, we might as well go see if we can do that. And, yeah. That thing's coming down slowly. Is there any Caprosuccuses in here? And when picking up uh, Caprosuccus with an Argent, you still have to be careful because they can pluck you off the back. So you have to be very careful that it doesn't gank you. All right. So I'm going to be waiting for this to come down. I'll see you guys in a bit. And yeah. All right. See you guys in a bit. All right. So when getting ready to tame a Dodicarus, there is one very important stat that you need to pay attention to before you tame a Dodicarus. You must verify it is, in fact, a Dodicarus. There we go. Perfect stat accomplished. And that's really it for taming a Dodicarus. Um, you know, we could get into the whole, you know, higher level has higher weight and all sorts of stuff like that. When it comes down to this, it's really not that necessary. How you doing, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's get you. Come on. All right, and the lower the level of Dodicarus, the easier they are to tame. The less time they take to tame. So, and this guy looks kind of cool. So, yeah, just remember, shoot the fleshy bits. There you go, buddy. Hey, good job being a Dodicarus. Can I get those arrows? Hey, thanks for the arrows back, buddy. All right, you just uh, stay right there. Take your meds, and I'll be right back with some berries. Okay, buddy? All right. Come on, Super Dodo. All right, and we've been out a little bit. We found a oil pump, vessel, um, and a water well, uh, Ingram. That's really it. But, you know, I'm 
I'm keeping an eye out, and I'm not venturing too far away yet uh, while that wyvern's out and about. <laughs> and also, you know, I'm kind of still, you know... Um, I'm still a little on edge, yeah, until uh, Super Dodo uh, gets a little bit more... Thanks for the wing shot, dude. Um, while Super Dodo gets a little bit more uh, movement speed. So where I know that if we get caught out in a, um, a storm, out and about and stuff like that, that it's not going to be, you know, either <laughs> uh, find a spot where you can hide out for the storm or die. Um, I want to be able to get back in time. So, yeah. <laughs> and right now, Super Dodo's uh, movement speed's getting up there. I put two levels into uh, melee damage. Movement speed's already at 122. So, you know, I, it, it, it's coming along quite nicely. It's going to slow down here really quick. But that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. I mean, we can do that. We can overcome. All right. And, hey, Mr. Parasaur, you're not going to be uh, trying to uh, go over there and do weird things to my uh, Dodicarus, are you? All right. We can come to an arrangement. Right, just leave my Dodicarus alone, and everything will be fine. Alright, so... This guy should tame up pretty quickly. Yeah, it'll be relatively... Get out of here, dude. Warned you. Alright, <laughs> so yeah, this guy's gonna tame up relatively quickly. Um, we're just gonna throw a quick saddle on him, and it's we're just getting this guy... To uh, um, get a sand quicker. That's really it. Um, the only stats we're going to pump on it, maybe a couple pumps in um, oh health, and the rest in weight and melee damage. And only a few in melee damage, up to probably about 250%. So where it gets a little bit of stone in it with each hit. But yeah, for the rest, it's just going to be weight. All right. So yeah, um, looks kind of cool though. Real rusty and stuff. Looks like a little rust monster. Yeah. All right, so hey, uh, I'm going to be doing this, and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, this guy's about to get up, and I just had one heck of a fright. That lightning wyvern that was bugging me in the last episode, well, he decided he was going to come back. He was over there, and then he flew over here, hovered around my base, chased me around a little bit on Super Dodo, and then finally I ducked into this ravine, lost aggro, and then he went over across behind that mesa. I hope he stays there. My gosh, that was intense. <laughs> oh, hey, 78777877. Can you tell I used the number pad to move? All right, so um, we're going to call this dude... We're going to call him Stony. There you go. Stony the Stoner Dodicarus. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Yeah. All right, you are a guy, right? All right. Stony would just sound weird on a girl. All right, so come on, dude. Let's get your butt back to base. Keep an eye out for lightning wyverns, all right, buddy? All right, take your poop. All right. And yeah, I was I was out uh, leveling up Super Dodo, you know? I was just having fun, you know, killing a bunch of Morellatops, throwing a bunch of kangaroos off the edge of the cliff and stuff, you know? And, you know, just the norm, you know, for the day. Uh, <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, and then all of a sudden the lightning wyvern just... Oh, and he's back. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is not going to be good. This is not going to end well. I already know it. This is really not going to end well. <laughs> it's going to end with uh, me dying. Now he's down inside the ravine. All right, come on, little Mr. Dodicarus. I'm gonna need all the help I can get. I wasn't expecting to have to fight one of these things this early.
But if it insists, it insists. Alright, so uh, let's put that in there, that in there, that in there. Um, and then, oh, let's see. What does it take to make that saddle? Dodicarus. 200 hide. I have that. And I'm really on edge right now. So, yeah. Just a little. <laughs> All right. And that's the beauty of Scorched Earth. All right. Is you're never safe. Even when you think you're safe, you're never safe. Even after you get, you know, the wyverns and stuff like that, you still have to worry about, you know, rock golems and stuff. All right, I don't know where he's at. And that's the scariest part. <laughs> the calm before the storm. All right, so let's get a saddle on this guy. Uh, pump and health. Yeah, you need it. All right. Go like that. Yeah, you got 260 weight. Cool for you, dude. All right, so let's get you over here. Get you parked over here. There you go, buddy. Have at it. All right, you already have uh, melee damage. All right, hey, yeah, get off me, dude. All right, and now, for now, I'm just going to be running back and forth, grabbing a whole bunch of sand while that guy's over there. And, yeah, um, let me grab Not Bob, go get a whole bunch of uh, cactus. And we're back. And, yeah, it's been a little while. Well, see, you know, well, yesterday I was busy building stuff. I mean, look, I built some stuff. I mean, look, I did. I built some stuff. And there's the shack. And then, you know, I did some stuff. And then, you know, I I built up um, another addition to the little shack. And I didn't like it, so I destroyed it. But that took me a long time. It carried me over my recording time limit. And then um, I destroyed the thing that I built. And then I rebuilt it again, and BAM! All right, look at that sucker, all right? <laughs> yeah, I've been busy. And you know what? There's even another big thing that's happened. BAM! Look at that! We've got beard! Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're, we're Grizzly adams it now, all right? Yeah! All right, so hey, you know, um, yeah, here, let's, uh, let's give you the tour. All right, see, I mean, um... I was in the process of building a bunch of stuff. I ended up putting down a bunch of foundations down here. It's all in footage that I had, but I cut. Um, be, but I didn't like it because it made everything uneven and I couldn't snap things onto the original building. So I rebuilt it with pillars. All right. Well, you know, I liked the pillars. I liked the fact that I could actually build bigger on it. But I didn't like the fact that every single pillar I put, I couldn't get rid of the nub. So I put in a second row of ceilings. And that took, took me a little bit longer. And all this is in footage that I had to cut in order to make this video not 45 minutes long. <laughs> and so, yeah. So now, you know, the windows are a little small. Hey, Bob. How you doing, buddy? And, you know, but other than that, it's all right. I mean, it is all right. All right. So, and also, um... We're going to, uh, we're going to craft a few things. We're going to see, the, um, something, because they have new things. Scissors! And from what I gather, these things are a bit buggy. So, yeah. Um, we need obsidian! I don't want to go run obsidian right now. <laughs> Oh, but you know what we can know what else we can do? Let's see We can go Cooking pot Because I just want to keep the beard for now and I want to dye the sucker up But you could go with a cool mohawk and I was gonna go with a cool mohawk But it's gonna be hidden underneath my hat anyway, so we will mess with the scissors some other time So yeah, um, let's do that. Let's get this cooking pot crafted We need stone thatch and wood. So you know what? Let's go out and let's grab some stone. Where's stony stony? Come here, buddy. It's been a while since I've seen you. It's been like 18 hours, buddy. Yeah, well, not even that. Like 12 hours, because I did come back in the off time and build a few things. 
And then I ended up destroying it. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, let's uh, go with this. Uh, let's give you some more weight, buddy. And Stony is a champ. I mean, he's a champ. He's been just sitting over here, chilling out, grabbing me a whole ton of stone. So we need wooden thatch now. Smeghead, get over here, buddy. All right. All right, and uh, yeah. And see, I, I started going around. I think I ended right here with these things because I want to actually build another building here. And then also, I was talking to a guy in one of my in my comments about eventually <clears throat> spanning this area with one solid structure, which sounds very, very cool. Um, I was actually looking at different spots that we could possibly do it. I was actually thinking about maybe even on top of those spires, spanning the area in between those. I'll have to go see how level that is. And then... Um, Maybe down there, over by the waterfall areas that I haven't even shown you guys yet. Maybe spanning the area over there. That sounds really cool. Because this base right here, this is just the first This is the first real shack. I'm not too committed to staying here. And I just want to reiterate that this is just the first shack. Um, so, yeah, I think that we might actually eventually move. And I really like that idea. I mean, what's not to like about that idea? That is a great idea. So, we might eventually end up doing that. Alright, we, we're gonna need thatch anyway, so give me that thatch. Alright. Alright, and wood. Alright, so do we have enough to build that now? We do! Alright, cooking pot. Yeah, baby. Alright, let's get that sucker. Let's get back to base. And let's see if we can dye us up a beard. Because we gotta make some dye, which means we have to make gunpowder all right so let's get in here and see yeah this old shack right here that i had i just put a little ramp up here and then i couldn't put an extra ceiling here or else my head is too big for that um and then right here i couldn't put the extra ceilings because you can't get through the door but you know i think the area looks really cool i think it's i think it's neat neat oh right all right so let's go like that i don't like that there Let's go over here. Let's go over in the corner. I hate how you can't put these things that close to the wall. There we go. Alright, so now we need... I need to drop a few things off on Not Bob really quick. Alright, so I guess we have to get Obsidian. But hey, look it! I dyed the clothes. I think it looks really good. All right, <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, we need the obsidian so where we can make the scissors so we can access the hair colors. So yeah, I'm flying up here at this mountain to see if I can grab some obsidian. Now I will see if I can, and I will bring you guys back in a bit. Yes, obsidian. All right, let's grab some of this stuff. Get out of here. Nothing gonna eat you, right? All right, chill out, Super Dodo. Grab a second one. And we out of here, buddy. Come on, let's get out of here. All right, back at base. Let's get this stuff loaded inside here. Obsidian. Yeah, I'll just throw the stone and the hide in there anyway. And the flint. And you can have the wood. And yeah, all right. Good luck with that. All right, mix. Uh, scissors. Crap that sucker up. And also, one thing that I really want to take a look at is they say that they have improved the uh, the drops. The quality of the stuff in the drops on Scorched Earth with this latest patch. And I really want to test that, but it's not going to be in this episode. I think it's going to be in the next episode. Uh, yeah. So, yep. Yeah. We got scissors. How do I look? Scissors? <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, do we have dye? Let's see. Reset color. Um, <laughs> wow, all right, um, wait, how do you change the color, wait, 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 all right, so let's remove that, all right, um, oh, I don't have any dye in me, on me, in me, on me, whatever, one of the, all right, there we go, dye, dye, and see, bam, Hey, we got color. 
Oh, yes! Oh, man, what I've always wanted. All right. Yeah. Green hair, buddy. All right, let's see. Can we go green beard? Oh, we're stylish and awesome and amazing. Can we go with goatee? Yeah, green goatee, buddy. Dude, you're amazing. Yes, you are. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Let's reduce that. Uh, yeah. We got 10 human hair. How do we look? Oh, he cut us all off. Oh, I wanted my goatee. Why did you do... What? Oh, but hey, we got green, green flowing locks. And that's what's important. <laughs> All right, so hey, I think that's gonna do it for the episode. I know there was a bunch I had to cut for the episode. I know there was a bunch I did in the off time in between uh, bits and pieces of this episode. But this episode, believe it or not, actually took me about 36 hours to make. So hey, um, I hope it's not that big of a disappointment. I hope you guys liked it. And hey, give me a thumbs up for the new building. It's pretty cool. I realized we didn't do it on camera. I did do it on camera, but I ended up having to cut that footage. Um, it just took too long. It took way, way, way too long. Um, and yeah, it's, I mean, I showed you guys exactly how it was built and everything like that. And I feel bad, you know, I do, because I wasn't able to show you guys exactly how I built it. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, and also just know, the Lightning Wyvern, he's still around here somewhere. Last time I saw him, he was flying down this way, and he flew over that way. So I hope he's still in stasis somewhere over there. And we're going to have to go eventually unstasis him to get him to hopefully move off. And Super Dodo's speed is... He's up to 142.5, so he's almost fast enough to outrun a Wyvern. Um, I want to get him up really high before I try to outrun a Lightning Wyvern. So, yeah, that's going to be one of those things. All right, so hey, uh, yeah, like I said, that's going to do it for this episode. And hey, until next time, this is Flinger Foo. Take it easy, everyone. That looks awesome. Green hair, dude. You rock, man. Flinger, you rock. All right.